Welcome to Healing Temple Mew channel and welcome to Mew Yoga. We're going to create the supine twist posture, which is assigned to the happy sea creature sigil of Mew. And so, beginning with the four limbed support posture, which you see here, and you will have been spending the last 10 minutes or so releasing and relaxing and melting into this posture spreading your back like butter over the ground. Feet are active, soles are pressing against the ground, raising the coccyx slightly upwards, so feet and groin quite active. Breathing in and breathing out and relaxing. Moving with the out-breath. Left knee towards the chest, weight of the ball and socket joint, pressing down into the ground with the out breath. Breathe in, breathe out, and relax, and move with the out breath. Right leg joining the left, weight of buttocks, weight of ball and socket joint, pressing down into the ground with the out breath. Preparing to go into the supine twist. You can't actually see this, but you're going to make the arms more and more bent at the elbows. Breathing out and floating the right hand up towards the sky, leaving the right elbow on the ground. Breathing in, breathing out and relaxing to move to the right hand side of the body with the next deep out breath floating the knees down towards the ground the last 10 minutes or so when you're in the resting posture you will have been relaxing the spine and with each out breath slightly elongating the spine so that when you go into the supine twist the spine is a little bit elongated. Breathing out, breathing out into the left hand shoulder. Just allowing the weight of the left hand shoulder to sink down into the ground, following the left arm, which is bent at the elbows, and the right arm. You might like to put a cushion between your knees as well, which just lifts the um, left hand hip up slightly. Moving with the out breath, coming down back into centre, and again allowing the weight of the legs, the ball and socket joints to sink down into the ground with the out breath. Face nice and relaxed, lower jaw relaxed, and now floating the left hand up towards the sky to 12 o'clock position. Weight of forearm pressing down on left elbow. Breathing in, breathing out, and relaxing, and floating the knees onto the left hand side. Releasing and relaxing, feeling the weight of the legs pulling gently on the lower part of the spine. Breathing in, breathing out, relaxing the right shoulder, breathing out into the right shoulder, allowing the weight of the right shoulder to press down into the ground. Just allow gravity to open you up. Don't force anything. The force of gravity is sufficient. And again, you might like to place a cushion between the knees. 
relaxing the toes, fingers, thumbs, lifting the hand back up towards the sky there. Breathe in, breathe out, and breathe in, and the next out breath, floating the knees up towards the sky with the out breath. There we go. Back to centre position. Breathe in, breathe out, floating the hand, left hand back onto the ground again, keeping the arms bent at the elbows, establishing equilibrium again, feeling the coccyx pressing down into the ground, floating both hands up towards the sky in preparation for coming out of the posture. Breathe in, a nice long out breath. Breathe in, breathe out and relax. Breathe in, next out breath. Just come up, bringing the head up last of all. Happy sea creature. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.